Assalamu alaikum. Today I am starting with the moon ballistic. This is my fifth lecture, and we'll discuss the moon ballistics in this lecture. Hello and assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is my fifth lecture on the firearms and its mechanics. Today we'll discuss the terminal ballistics. That means the wound production, phenomena of wound production. What will be the appearance of anti-wound by the rifled weapon as well as by the smooth board weapon. So we'll discuss in detail the characteristics finding of the rifle, rifled weapon and smooth board weapon wound ballistics. That is terminal ballistics. So today we'll discuss in this fifth lecture the characteristics of wound ballistics. I, I'm hopeful that you must have watched my previous four lectures on the firearm and its mechanics. And this will help to, uh, to especially to the students of the third year in understanding the basic knowledge of the wound production. Thank you very much. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So, terminal ballistics or the wound ballistics. It is concerned with the effect of the bullet and other projectile on the target at impact until it comes to rest. So, these are the effects of physical physico-chemical and other forces which are going to affect the target. So we, we must revise what are the components in a cartridge which are responsible for wounding. So that's why they are called wounding elements. Though there are certain characteristics like the lubricant or the smoke they only soil the surface. They do not cause any damage, but as they are part of the cartridge and they are going to translate to the tissues, so that's why they are enlisted in the wounding elements or the components of the cartridge. So the cartridge may be of any short barrel, long barrel, but the components remain the same that there is a short charge, the bullet or a pellet, there will be flame emitting and this will cause burning. Then hot gases, the pressure gases, high velocity compressive gases will be traveling alongside the projectile and will cause cavitation. Then the smoke will be causing blackening. There will be wad in smooth board weapon. And this is a special disc, cardboard or plastic disc placed at the rear end and in front of the pellets to make them travel in N block. Then the burnt or unburnt gunpowder particles will be embedded in the tissue and that will cause tattooing. Then the grease or the lubricant of the barrel will also travel on the surface of the projectile and will soil the skin. Then the metal fragments, the scrapings of the barrel may travel along with the projectile and that will cause fouling. Then in close contact, when we firmly press against the skin, there will be muscle imprint. So the skin damages, there will be gloss, gross splitting, laceration, and that also depends upon the bullet in which phenomena it is. If it is in tail wag showing instability, the damage will be extensive. There can be bruising around the vital reaction. And the color of abrasion 
is characteristic phenomena which is shown by rifled bullets. As the rifle bullets, they are spinning, revolving, and by indenting the skin and piercing the skin, and cir circular movement will rub or abrade the margin that will create color of abrasion. And it is seen in the rifled firearms due to its rotational and indentation of the skin with the rubbing that will cause color of abrasion. Then the appearance of or the shape of the firearm wounds, it depends upon certain factors basically. The type of weapon that is rifled weapon or smooth board weapon, then the nature of projectile that is pellet or a bullet and in bullets various its shapes, then velocity and stability. Velocity means low velocity weapons, high velocity weapons and stability means when the bullet is wobbling or in steady flight. Then if there is ricocheting, the bullets after striking to some hard object deviates its pathway that is called billiard ball phenomena or ricocheting. And this ricocheting may be outside the body or inside the body. Then the distance of fire from the victim. The firearm, depending upon the range from the victim, will show its characteristics. Then the angle of fire, right angle, tangential, from above, from below. So these or will show certain characteristics. Then secondly, missile formation. This missile can be generated from outside the body when the bullet strikes some thing else like glass, metal, may be fragmented or the parts of the subject to which it strikes, they become the secondary missile or within the body, if it strikes the bone, the bony fragments can become the secondary missiles. Then the type of ammunition, smoke, smokeless or other components of the ammunition can change the appearance of the wound. So these were the factors which were responsible for the appearance of wound. Regarding the medical legal importance, why we study the wound ballistic and why it is important that it helps us in the recognition of the entry and the exit wound. It helps us in determining the distance of fire, direction of fire, relative position of the weapon and the victim, that is the angle of fire, cause of death, manner of death, and identification of the weapon. So these are the issues which are important to be known to us. So how we classify the firearm entry wounds? The classification of firearm entry wounds on the basis of distance of fire. So they may be close contact or contact wound, hard contact when the weapon is firmly pressed against the skin or loose contact. And close range mean within few inches and then intermediate range that is beyond the close range and it is up to two yards. And then the distance fire, that means beyond two yards. Because beyond two yards, roughly two to three yards, the close range finding that is burning, blackening, tattooing, other close range finding will not be there. So depending upon the distance of firearm from the victim will change the characters or characteristic which will be seen on the entry site. So first we will discuss the firearm entry wounds in rifled weapons. In contact wounds, the whole discharge will be entered into the body, into the tissues. And beside burning, blackening, tattooing, the bullet itself will be going through the track. And the effects produced will depend upon the area of strike. That means underneath there is bone 
or there is soft tissue if there is underneath bone the gases will rebound back and after striking the bone they rebound back and there will be extensive splitting of the skin producing a stellate shape or irregular shape star shaped wounds with everted margins and extensive splitting of the edges so a stellate shape irregular star shape with everted margins will be seen in loose contact or contact when the underneath there is a bone and the whole gases they are rebounding back and all the components of the shot will be present within the tag and that's how it appears in contact wound star shape so when there is loose contact with the skin then the gases and the discharge they escape from the side of the muzzle end and an unusual pattern of the suit will be visible around the anti wound and this blackening around the wound by the suit particle is called corona this is the deposition from the loose contact of the muzzle end so other characteristics the burning blackening tattooing will be going deeply into the tract then the carbon monoxide of the discharge will combine with the hemoglobin and myoglobin and this concentration will help us in entry and exit wound the concentration of carboxy hemoglobin or met myoglobin or hemoglobin will be more at the entry side than the exit wound so this is a loose contact and blackening around the loose contact is called corona and the skin on the scalp has been reflected you can see the blackened and burned bone of skull underneath this is a characteristic phenomena the back spatter phenomena when there is contact wound the fragments of the tissues hair blood fibers of the cloth they are sucked into the muzzle because after the exit of the bullet there is a vacuum created within the chamber and which may suck the tissues and the blood into the chamber and that can soil the hand of the person holding that weapon and this finding is important because the resultant stains and trace evidence found on the weapon will help in the identity of the stain establishing the relation to the crime this is how you can see the back spatter phenomena the blood has been sucked in and soiled the hand of the assailant then the close range firearm wounds these wounds are resulting from the firearm when the muzzle is at a few inches distant from the target if the underneath are closed there will be burning blackening and tattooing present on the clothes color of abrasion will be present and this burning blackening will be on the tissues beside clothes will be on the tissues but the clothes may hamper the appearance on the surface of the tissues then grease color or dirt color may be there so close range will be showing burning blackening tattooing color of abrasion and grease color or the dirt color the margins will be inverted so this is a close range injury wound burning blackening this is another close range the tattooing marks then the intermediate range firearm wounds these wounds are produced when the muzzle is at 1 to 2 yards from the victim at this range the other effects like burning blackening and singeing of hair they will be absent 
because the flame cannot reach beyond one to two yards. But tattooing will be there because the coarse heavy particles burnt or unburnt, they can travel up to few yards and they will show the tattoo effect. And color of abrasion, because color of abrasion is barred, formed by the rubbing and indenting of the bullet that will be there. Dirt ring can be there because the oil can travel, it is heavier for longer distance. This is the color of abrasion at entry wound, typical circular inverted margins and color of abrasion. Then typical distant range firearm wounds. These are the wound produced when the muzzle and the target distance is beyond one to two yards. Circular or over lacerated wound will be seen. Margins will be inverted. And color of abrasion is distinct. So in a very distant range, when there is a reduction in the velocity, the bullet may wobble, it may be tumbling on irregular, bizarre shaped anti wound can appear when the distance is too long. Whereas typical distant range, it will be circular over lacerated wound with inverted margins and color of abrasion. Thank you very much. This was all about the anti wound of firearm weapons. Then we'll discuss the anti-wound of smooth board weapons in the next lecture.